There is no way I did not notice that. What? No, come on. That's insane. Ladies and gentlemen, the Triangle Cube. You know why I love this community and everyone who watches my videos? It's because I cannot get away with anything. Yeah, not knowing this was embarrassing. This is called a Master Morphix. It literally has the word morph in it. Well, now you guys know I actually go into these puzzles with no prior knowledge, but you guys might've spoiled too much for me in the comments and let me explain to you what I now know. When you turn one side, let's count how many pieces move. This centerpiece turns in place and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces around that for nine pieces moving around. And there is one, two, three layers. Does that description sound familiar? So I haven't solved this thing or really figured out how it turns yet, but let's look at this together. If we have a red yellow center and we wanna solve that one first, then I'm gonna make the cross around it. There is one cross piece. Uh, this red one can go uh, right here. We have one here already and the last yellow cross piece can be this one. So we're gonna move it like this and then up and look, there's the cross. It's still so weird trying to think about this as a three by three, but this is uh, how it works. So we're gonna roll with it. Um, we have this and this already, the centers are correctly aligned, but these two centers need to twist. So this is the center piece. I can turn it like this. I can get this cross piece out of the way, turn it like that, move the center in a way that I want it like this, move the cross piece, the yellow one, that's right here. Okay, I'll turn it the other way, I guess. And then um, get it back to the cross. Where's my cross? Here's my cross, that is now aligned and I'll fix this center as well. Move this cross piece away, get it away like that. Um, turn the front like this and put it all back down. All right, here is my red yellow cross fully aligned to all of the centers around it. And the corner pieces next are gonna be these and these two, that's gonna be really weird. So we need a red yellow corner right here. Um, well, that's this one. So we can actually just solve what goes here first. It's gonna be this one right here. It needs red yellow at the bottom. I'm not used to thinking of two colors going at the bottom at once. Oh, geez but I think it's gonna be like this. There we go. Then this one is gonna go here, like that. No, that puts red green at the bottom. I, I, I have no clue how you're supposed to think about this. Um, okay, but that worked. There are the two corners and we now need these two corner pieces. So if this is the top layer, there's a yellow right there. I can put that one in here. Now something we're gonna have to remember for later is this corner piece. This is a corner piece, not a center piece. This one could be twisted in a different way. So later we might get impossible cases, but uh, we'll deal with that when we get to it. So we can then put this red corner piece in here. Oh no, I can never remember how to turn. Okay, there is the first layer. It, it barely looks like a layer, a full layer, but if you just turn it, you can see that, yeah, everything that turns together is actually solved, which is just like on a three by three, one layer. Next, we need to solve the second layer and where even is the second layer pieces? It's just gotta be everything in here. So this green one needs to flip this needs to be red, this one is solved, and this one needs to be yellow. That one needs to go here. <laughs> um, it can go in like that. So that means I can do the algorithm right now. Second layer algorithm. I this, this is visually a mess. I, I can't stay focused. Uh, turn. Nice, we got it. We can do this red one. So if I move it in like this way, that would be flipped. So I need to put it over here instead and make it go in 
this way. Yeah, so I always do that one move check to see if it's the way it goes in, if it's on a puzzle where I cannot visually recognize things the way that I normally do. I just have to do a one move comparison. This green one needs to flip, or we can just take this one and put it in there so we can uh, do this. Gotta love the beginner method. It makes things so much easier on new puzzles. Oh, I flipped it again. It's okay, we'll just say we were working on that one all along. I took it out so I could put it back in flipped. This was all part of the plan. Wow, nice. There's the first two layers. As you can see, I can just turn one layer. Here are all the unsolved pieces and everything else is just right here. So we're on the last layer. Um, do I do OLL, PLL? That seems a little strange. Okay, no, I think I can do it. So this green and this blue are already good and these two need to each flip in their place. I guess I'm not doing OLL anymore. Could I do a blindfolded algorithm? That would actually be pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Oh, I'm gonna forget how to do it, but let's give it a shot. It's all muscle memory, which means I'm gonna have to do my finger tricks. Ooh, uh, <laughs> scary. I think I do this. Oh no, I'm abandoning all finger tricks, which is which means no more muscle memory to rely on. Okay, then I go this way and then I can't even tell when I've finished a turn because, oh, oh, like that, okay. And then like this. Oh, I'm spending an awful lot of time on this one algorithm. Okay, back down, I'm confused. This doesn't turn how I expect it to. That did not work at all. I definitely ruined the first layer, but this is kind of funny. Okay, wait, wait, these two are together. It's just like an F2L case or something. All right. I think I actually did it. Yeah, I messed up a little bit, but I fixed it. Uh, the only issue is this center got twisted, I guess on three by three, since the center twists are not visible, I didn't know that my algorithm does this. So I can still twist this center. I'm gonna do it right now. I know an algorithm for it. It's like this, 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 and then repeat that five times. Okay, I think that should be it. Oh no, these two both need a flip. You know what, I'm just gonna do OLL and PLL. So I'm gonna say they need to swap spots, which means the cross is actually uh, all oriented correctly. And then I'm gonna need all the corners to be oriented correctly, which I guess these two don't have an orientation, but these two do. I need this one to turn so it's green blue up, and this one also to turn to green blue up. So if, I, if it needs to turn this way, then I can do the soon algorithm. Like that. Uh, OLL is solved, I guess, because it's all green and blue on top. Uh, how many pieces are currently in the right spot? Turn it a little bit. So now we have these two in the right spot. Don't tell me this is a G perm. Oh no, I don't even know how to recognize. This is the corner, this is the edge. I, I was flipping them in my head. I thought this was the corner the whole time, just because it's on the edge of the blue, but this is actually the corner. Maybe I should break this into two steps. This needs to go here which needs to go. This can't go here. They are different types of pieces. <laughs> this corner needs to go here, which needs to go here, which needs to go here. So I can do a three corner cycle. Yes, I can do something like that. Um, how would this work? Like this? <sighs> Trying to use my algorithms on this is so confusing. One turn, two turns. turn. One turn, two turns. Okay. Okay. We are... <laughs> that's hilarious. They need to swap. That's not possible because these are two edge pieces, but I can also swap two corner pieces at the same time or yeah, two... What? No, I think you're supposed to take this edge, move it here, this edge goes here, and this edge goes here because these two are identical. Okay, so if this one moves here, it needs to flip. If this one moves here, it also needs to flip. And if this one goes here, I think it doesn't need to flip. Okay, I need to redeem myself. I'm gonna use my blindfolded algorithms again. If this one goes here normally, and this one goes here flipped, I think it should be this algorithm. 
Ugh. I think it should be a slice move here. And then one, two, three. And then undo that slice move. And then how do you turn? Jeez. Yes, we did it. We solved it. Just to give you guys some perspective on how difficult this was to turn, the final algorithm I was trying to do on 3x3, three three, it looks like this. Yep, I could do it again and again, and here it was so difficult. This cute little baby is the Pyromorphix, and let's just scramble it up properly this time. Yeah, this one shape shifts as well. This thing is just a 2x2 shape mod, which means it should be much easier now that I have solved the 3x3 version of it. So let's see if we can quickly speed through this thing. So if this is gonna be one layer, then that means I need the green one right here. And this needs to be the green red piece like that. And then the last layer, four pieces, uh, what do we got? This one moves here and twists that way. And then this one goes here, this one goes here. I'm gonna be honest guys, that's actually too much thinking. And I'm just gonna put this one here and hope the rest solves itself. So let's see if that works. Uh, okay, I did it. <laughs> I am the two by two God. Okay, but seriously, this is a lesson learned for me. I try to go into these puzzles with no prior knowledge, but I guess I should learn at least how it turns. <laughs>